Your Royal Highness, Crown Princess Mette Marit, welcome back to the University of Oslo. It's only a couple of weeks since you were here the last time. And to all of you, welcome to um, the University's Festive Hall, the old Festive Hall, one of the most beautiful rooms that we have in our possession at the University, and that is, I would say, a befitting venue for this important conference. And in fact, you should spend a few seconds later on to admire the particular decorations in this hall. So this is the hall where our members of parliament met in the years before the parliament building was completed in 1866. Perhaps some of you don't know this. And this was also the room where we had recent meetings devoted to education and health. Separate meetings with Bill Gates, Melinda Gates, and also quite recently with Charlie Arnson, whom you might know because he was one of the scientists that developed a drug for Ebola. So I would say that uh, this meeting falls into an extremely proud tradition when it comes to meetings in this hall addressing the challenges that face the society of today. I must say I'm extremely happy that the students have been so active when it comes to the organization of this event. I've heard that the students have uh, made all the important decisions regarding this event. We know, of course, that uh, the students are organizers together with LEVE, Globvac, and the Norwegian Research Council, but nevertheless, I know that the students have done most of the work. So I would like to pose the question, what would a university be without its students? Our globally engaged students, they are the most important asset of a university. And um, I should say the most important resource of the society at large. And uh, I think that there are many students here today. So a particular welcome to you. You, our students, are our leaders of tomorrow, and you are the ones that will have to grapple with the challenges that now loom large on a global scale. So in this very perspective, the global conversation on a post-2015 agenda is uh, one of the most important debates of our time. There is no doubt about that. Any development framework agreed by the UN member states in this year on the, or in the years, year to come will guide future policies and spending on development. And not only so in developing countries, but also globally. In fact, there is no sense in discussing future development goals without recognizing the role that young people play as assets, as well as problem solvers. As director of the University of Oslo, I'm proud to see that our students engage in these pressing issues. Keep on doing so. During my time as chair of the Lancet University of Oslo Commission on Global Governance for Health, in fact, a report of this commission was launched in this very room just about a year ago. I experienced the importance of having the voices of the youth, of the students. We had a parallel youth commission that uh, was quite vocal when it came to the criticism of the senior commission. In fact, they held us accountable and they asked us time and time again, again to uh, look further forward in time and that it's very important for a university to ensure that we provide a voice also for future generations. Dear students, I'm very happy to see you here today. Keep up the good work. Don't shy away from the very difficult questions that you have ahead of you. Look 
at the complexity of these issues as something that inspires and not something that keeps you away from looking at them. Difficulties should be looked upon as an inspiration, not as a deterrent. As future leaders, you will have to balance dilemmas and consider the implications for your own lives, groups, and perhaps even countries. I hope that uh, through your studies and through discussions and events like this one, you will acquire skills, interests, capacities to lead with a cool head and a warm heart. Good luck with the meeting and thank you for your kind attention.